Five days have passed since the magnitude 7.2 earthquake in Les Case, southwestern Haiti. The death toll from the earthquake has risen to 2,189. After Saturday's earthquake, doctors here still have their hands full with people with ambulatory wounds, especially cuts, broken bones and contusions. Just behind the reporter in the same ward of the Immaculate Conception Hospital in Les Case, a woman aged 52 died following an ineffective rescue. A few minutes earlier, a new wave of the earthquake had just hit the hospital. Frightened people left the premises in desperation, with some managing to take their relatives out on stretchers. After the relatively gentle wave subsided, people regained their calm and took their injured relatives back inside. However, the damage caused by the earthquake is evident throughout the hospital. With four beds and a floor packed with injured people of all ages, leaving few options to maintain the social distance demanded by COVID-19. You know, Haiti, you know, Haiti, we have we're still troubling. We don't have president. Look, right now, we have we are only the prime minister. So. Um, we need emergency things, uh, especially for the hospital. Many people in the hospital are still sickness. So they need emergency things like uh, medicine, like doctors. Uh, uh, the government or the permanent minister should do, uh, should do something fast for the people at the hospital. I would like the people who want to come to help us, give us some good help. Now we need some good help. The NGOs will come. They will come. They should come with with something. They, so, with uh, some serious thing. Okay, to help us because we still emergency. At the hospital was Pierre Onoha, the country director of the World Food Program in Haiti, who is working intensively to help feed hungry locals. Now, World Food Program is here also to provide assistance to those people in the hospital that are working days and night, to the patient, of course, and also to the families. Also to mention that we are in this region already since quite a while. We are doing emergency food distribution. We are assisting also most vulnerable people, food insecure, which means people that doesn't even have a, a, a meal a day. And those affected moreover with the COVID. You know, the COVID has interrupted the markets. According to Onoha, 40% of the population in Haiti is food insecure. People in Lekais are returning to their activities after the earthquake that struck last Saturday. Although the economy in Haiti is so precarious, people need to return to some kind of activity to try and earn some money for their necessities.